Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, just uh, was just having a look at the Amanda Todd page um, here on Facebook, and um, if you don't know Amanda Todd, she uh, I, I I just saw a social cam video of hers actually, uh, not of hers, but of someone talking about her. But anyhow, she uh, the troubled teen who. Uh, just recently committed suicide. They started this page for her on on October 13th, just just three days ago, and she's already got almost a million likes and 1.9 million people are talking about the page. And uh, I, I stumbled upon this last night, late last night, and watched her YouTube video, and it was just very, very touching. And, um, wow, you know, you, you can learn more about her story if you just go to YouTube and look for Amanda Todd. Um, you'll see there's a, there's a video she does where she has, like, it's a silent video, and she shows, like, um, almost like flashcards, makeshift flashcards, and tells her story. Um, it's a sad story of just, uh, what led up to her suicide, you know, and, you know, I... It brought me back to uh, back when I was growing up. I went through two phases in my life um, where I faced uh, suicide. And the first one, first one was just after fifth grade. I'm going to share my story. It might help someone out there. I don't know because this is sad to, to hear and see. But I went, uh, I grew up in Warren, Ohio. I went to a, a Catholic school, just actually recent, recently closed down. And at the school that I went to, um, we, we wore these really nice uniforms. And i just sum it up. I, there was a girl. Her name was Julie Blackiston. Gosh, how I wish I could find her today. I've always wanted to find Julie and, and never been able to find her. But I used to, me and a group of the kids, used to I used to lead in making fun of her, cracking on her. I can remember she used to wear, we used to wear uniforms and hers always smelled and she, her hair was always stringy. She, you know, I don't think she got too many baths and, and whatnot. And at the time, it was just a cruel thing, I know. And uh, at the end of my fourth grade year, I uh, moved to Cleveland and went to another Catholic school where uh, it was different that you wore very relaxed fitting clothes. You didn't wear such preppy type clothing. And um, from the first day, uh, I got made fun of. <laughs> and that whole entire year was hell. I had no friends. Everybody was cruel to me. And I got pretty much what I deserved. And I reaped what I sowed. And... Uh, I used to get cold sores real bad. I'd cry every day after school. This is in fifth grade. And then uh, and then my mom at the end of the year said, that's it. You, My brother and I, she said, you boys aren't going back to that school. I'm going to send you to a public school. And I can remember thinking, that, you know, raised as a little Catholic boy, we used to think, oh, my gosh, uh, the kids at the public school, they're terrible. They're heathens. They're, they're worse than the Catholic boys and girls <laughs> and um, I just remember dreading that and thinking oh my gosh just when things couldn't have gotten worse you know I, I got used to the pain of that year I, I was I couldn't endure in my mind another year of that of more torture and, and who knows what was ahead and so that summer I'll never forget we had a drought I can remember because we used to light the nearby woods on fire <laughs> and wait for fire engines to come to put out the fire, and we would watch them and laugh. Uh, so, it's, you know, it might sound a little morbid, but what I did is I put together a big pile of leaves, and I lit a ring of fire, a pretty wide circumference, so that by the time it got to me, there was there was no turning around. It was going to be a roaring fire. And I know, I can't even believe it, but would you know that it rained? It was, I think, the only day it rained that summer, and it put the fire out, and I was like, okay, fine. And I'll tell you what, I, I, you know, for anybody who's listening, 
that's maybe being bullied or going through a tough time in life. Uh, I went to that public school that next year. We were the first sixth grade because they had just changed where all these schools came from. All new kids coming from everywhere. I made friends. Um, I fit in. And nobody made fun of me. And from then on out, it, it really shaped who I was in school because I was the guy that if somebody new came to the school, I was the first one to greet them. I was the first one to welcome them, to go sit with them. And I would sit with everybody at lunch. If any of my old friends see this, you might remember, I, I didn't have a certain clique. I didn't sit with the jocks or the whatever. We have freaks or whatever. I, I kind of sat with everybody. I moved around all during lunch because I liked everybody. And I wanted everybody to, I never wanted anybody to have to go through what I went through. And, uh, uh, yeah, amazing. So, you know, who, you know, after all that, how could I have had another attempt, right? Because I did have another attempt. I did make another attempt on my life. Um, funny thing was, my whole four years in high school, I, um, I dated one girl. Her name was Stephanie. And, um, you know, just my background, my parents were divorced when I was two. And, uh, my mom and I were a lot alike, so as a result, we kind of didn't always get along, see eye to eye. And um, I, uh, we broke up our senior year. And my only, I had no relationship with God really at the time. So my only sense of love was in this, this girl. And, and, and when we broke up, it just felt to me like life was over. This pit in my heart, you know how it is if you've ever been lovesick. But imagine being lovesick, I guess, and not having any other sense of love at all around you. Not that I didn't know my mom loved me and whatnot, but I just, you know, I just didn't have a relationship with God, and it was an in imbalance. You know, it wasn't a healthy love. And so anyway, I tried to jump off the bridge by my high school, and. Um, I remember I ran home in the I ran there in the rain. It was a rainy night. I remember I run in running there and I think I had just been by her house and I was trying to get her to open her window to talk to me one last time or something and she wouldn't even open the window and was ignoring me and I don't blame her. I was a nutcase back then, but I ran through the rain and uh went to the bridge by the high, high school and tried to jump off the bridge and wanted to dive head first into the rocks. And uh, I could feel this pressure on my chest and I I had a feeling it was God holding me back, and I said, you know what, if you're not going to let me jump off this bridge, I'm going to do everything I can to uh, destroy my life, and um, so after that, I did go down to a, a destructive path, and I think that's probably a, a story for another time, but the point is, is that uh, I failed twice, and um, things do get better. Everything is a season. As bad as this Amanda Todd's season was, and it's bad. If, if you, if you, I can't imagine what it would have been like when I was growing up. If social media were media were around, and all of all of what was going on with me was taken to say, social media, I don't, I don't know what that would have been like. But um, I just want to encourage somebody out there that uh, I don't know. The story is really touching me. But I just want to encourage somebody out there that uh, this too will pass. A, a better day is coming. If, if you're at a time in your life where maybe financially you're struggling, well, finances are coming. If you're if you're at a time in your life where you're single and you're lonely, uh, a helpmate is coming. Somebody's coming. If, wherever you're at, it time will change your circumstances and your situation. It will get better. Do not listen to the lies. Don't listen to you know what other people say or what not you know and your mind will start playing tricks on you if you're in a suicidal state or you're in a very depressed state you'll start listening to all the wrong voices and do not listen to them because a better day is coming you don't have to do what happened with Amanda Todd you know and and uh, I think unless you've been through it you don't understand it you know someone who's never had a suicidal thought or have gone through something like what she or even I've gone through, you don't understand it. And it takes a miracle in some cases. I have some friends since I graduated high school that have committed suicide. Uh, my friend Dave and my friend Wayne, another Wayne, 
And so I, I know as selfish as those of us that are still around feel like, wow, this person was so selfish for doing this and doing that. Yeah, you can say that, and I get it. But until you understand what is going on in a person's mind and, and the spirit that they're dealing with, just be supportive of family and, and, and positive and, and, you know, say words of blessing to the friends and family. And listen, just listen to your friends and your family and people around you. There are usually some signs of something going on. They usually give up signs. They usually let on that something's going on. And you just got to be sensitive to it. So hopefully we can take this time that... This is a very, very big story, and I see it really getting bigger, and I, I think everybody's going to be hearing about this real soon. And, um, you know, that and the girl who got kidnapped and killed over there in, um, in Colorado. <clears throat> it's bad news, I know, but, <clears throat> you know, we live in different times. So we've got to love one another and got to reach out to somebody, reach out to each other. So if there's anybody on social cam, Anybody who watches this, that you're you're going through a tough time or you're having some suicidal thoughts and you need someone to talk to, you know, there's a way to send me a private video on here or just to find me in so social media channels or comment or get a hold of me. If you want someone to talk to, we'll, we'll have a little chat, okay? Everything's going to be all right. So sorry for the so, you know, seriously crazy chat today but somebody needs to hear this i have a feeling i just felt a real stirring in my heart all right guys have a great day keep smiling and remember this too shall pass